What is that? Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here, my name's Ellen and welcome to my channel. probably tell from the title below, I've recently turned 21 which is so surreal. It doesn't feel like it's happened, it feel, well obviously it did happen because we had an amazing day and I'll get into that in a second, but it just doesn't feel as if I'm old enough to be 21, to be a proper adult. Anyway, first of all I just wanted to say thank you all so much for your comments and your birthday wishes, it really did make my day. I had such an amazing day. We didn't really do that much on my birthday which is really quite a nice change because most of my birthdays are quite chaotic. Sometimes we went to Ikea, sometimes we went bowling, sometimes we had like a little tea party where all my family came around. But for this birthday I just wanted it a little bit more relaxed. I did originally plan to go to New York but because of Covid restrictions we could not do that. So for this birthday we just stayed in the house, just told a few friends like it's a bit of an open house. If you want, well didn't really tell that many people actually, it was just more of a open house, if you want to come over you can, if you don't want to don't bother, it's fine, we'll have some nibbles out, you might have some cake and then in the evening we went for a meal in Custom House in Panar, which was absolutely divine, I wasn't sure if they might only have Sunday roast and I didn't really want Sunday roast, I just wanted something a bit nicer because it's 21 but <laughs> they had a really nice selection so I had like prawn and avocado to start which was absolutely gorgeous, I'll show you a picture right here because it was just Oh, it was mouth watering, it was amazing. And I've never had that as a starter before, but it's really nice. And so I had that, I had sirloin steak for lunch or dinner, and then a chocolate brownie for dessert with ice cream, which was I love brownies, I am a brownie fanatic, and this is definitely in my top three. It was gorgeous, it was so nice, it's as if it had like chocolate chips, like a white chocolate chips in it. It was gorgeous, I could literally talk about this brownie forever. But yeah, we had such a nice day and it's really nice to be quite relaxed and not hectic and chaotic. It was just, we weren't rushing to go anywhere, we weren't rushing about trying to sort out the house or anything. It was just really nice and really just relaxed. We had a few friends come over, my best friend came over which was amazing and she spoiled me, my family spoiled me, I was spoiled, completely spoiled. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what I got for my birthday. So I'm going to start with what I got for my brother for my birthday because that's how it came. I went to my parents' bedroom. We have a little tradition. We go to our parents' bedroom on Christmas or birthdays or anything, have a cup of tea and open it all in my mum's bed and my mum and dad's bed. So this year then we went into mum and dad's room and had a massive box on the bed waiting for me and it was all gifts for my brother Adam. Oh my god, he's just the sweetest and I'm going to have to figure a way to top this now, which is going to be difficult because I'm a bit of a stationary fanatic. You probably wouldn't know this about me. I'm a very big stationary fanatic and he literally just got me a box of goodies from Typo which oh I love it, I love it so much. So first of all he got me this tie dye chocolate coloured water bottle which can have like hot water or cold water or tea or coffee but it's just a really nice colour. Next he got me these really funky socks. So I really thought these said something about therapy on them and I'm just so dopey I thought he was telling me to get therapy basically but it says see the upside on them so you can tell I'm blind and I need these glasses but they're just these cute little purple socks with just rainbows on them in purple thread saying see the upside not therapy see the upside next then he got me these three books I've got or journals there's an A6 journal there's an A5 journal and then a spiral bound journal by here but what I love about these is that on the inside of them so this one's just normal like a divided journal and it's got little pockets, it's got little wallets at the front of each division which is really cute. But then these two journals are so sweet because so the A5 one, spotty print, we love it, says on the front there's a never have I ever checklist so it says things like cancelled plans to stay home, cheated on a test, lied in a job interview, regifted a gift, broken a bone, been dumped over text and fake being sick which I can check a few of those. And then on the next one, it says, this book is for, and it says things like long list making, procrastinating, guacamole recipes, sarcastic comments, weird dreams, deep dark secrets, doodling, unpopular opinions, computer passwords, and profanities. If found, please burn this notebook and never speak of it again. I love little things like these. They're just so quirky and cute, and they just make you smile. They make you laugh, and I love that. I love that. Next he got me, which I absolutely adore, 
and I really wanted one of these for a while because my friend had one at one point but I just really wanted one of my own is kill time and destroy these pages and it's quite a nice silky feel to the front it's quite smooth and I adore this already so on the front it says this journal belongs to so I put my name and my well I put the date because it's my birthday and I thought it was cool and I accidentally skipped some pages I've just realized now so the first page is cover this page in glitter and design your own shoes I accidentally skipped these and the first page then that I thought it was is potato stuff this page but I didn't have a potato on me and write your deepest darkest secret and scribble them out so I did more than one secret and scribbled them all out but I'm not allowed to look through the book, I was just going to have a little flick through. I'm not allowed to look through the book, every day is meant to be a surprise. So it's just a gift that keeps on giving and I adore this, it's so so pretty. But, oh where was it? There was one of them, so this one says congratulations you did it at the end of the journal. But there was, there it is, in this little pink one, I forgot about this until just now. It said in the back, fact, only one in... 1,305,713 people finished their notebook. Congratulations, you're one of them. We totally made this up. I adore things like that, it's so cute and just so funny, I love it. Then he also got me some reusable metal straws or stainless steel straws, always a win. This lush jigsaw, 1,000 piece, which is gonna take me forever, that I can put up on my wall afterwards or something, but it's just so pretty and I love the colors. It really matches my room and like my curtains and my lamp and everything else apart from my wall they could go with my wall he also got me a rubik's cube in like khaki and darker colors which is really cute but then he did in front of me open it and scrumple it around so i'd have to solve it which as you can tell i haven't solved it yet and i'm already struggling i was just there for ages just flicking it around and didn't get anywhere. Then he got me this pencil case which he filled with different types of pencil. So there's a retractable or a mechanical pencil, whatever you want to call it in there. We got some normal like markers and just nice pens which are quite silky soft and I love them. And some dual end markers and these two I absolutely adore as well is he got me this little wrench, spanner, wrench, spanner. This thing this tool, he got me this tool, which is a pen, and he got me this pencil, which is a pen, which says, doing my best, but the amazing part of it is, it's a pen, but the rubber also works, so you can rip stuff out, so I love it. He also got me this mini goal set, which I adore, I love things like this, I love lists, I love everything stationary related, it's amazing. So it's got a to-do list on one side, they're all like little post-it notes so there's a to-do list on one side a goal tracker for a, or a weekly goal tracker in the middle and then a goal planner on the outside which says my big goal is I'd like to achieve this by this date the important or this is important to me because dot 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 my rewards will be which is really nice because it gets you thinking about things and probably more inclined to do things like this so yeah I love it and I love how cute it wraps up as well because that just means I can take it to school with me or uni with me, keep it in my bag and I can carry on making notes because I've got so many pieces of paper all around the place and so many notes on my phone where I just think of something and I write it down and it just stays there or it comes off and goes somewhere else but it's just not all in one place so at least this will keep it all in one place which will be amazing. So Adam also got me this really nice smelling candle from Typo and it's called a doing nothing candle which smells like sitting on the couch all day long sweet woody scented it smells amazing it really just smells amazing i don't actually know what the smell is obviously sweet woody smell but it just smells so nice and it's so calming i love it he also got me and my mum did i'm just gonna say this quickly now they also just got me some custard creams because i had a massive drop the other day which probably wasn't my best moment but there were some custard creams in the house and they are my favourite biscuit next to bourbons because they're just divine. I love it. I love custard creams. And they put some in the biscuit tin. I didn't know that they put some in the biscuit tin. And I didn't even have one biscuit and they were all gone. And I was like, oh my god, we've got custard creams in the cupboard so we can have some custard creams. And then they were like, uh, no we don't. They've all been eaten. And I was like, no, they can't have because they haven't been put in the biscuit tin. Everyone ate them. No one told me that they were there. Everyone ate them. 
So I went custard creamless and I won't let it die. I won't I won't I won't let it go. I really won't let it go. And so they got me some packs of custard cream so I can't complain anymore. But I probably still will. And then finally Adam got me this massive fridge magnet weekly plan or magnetic weekly planner. And I love this as well because I have some paper ones which are all right but it's difficult to try and keep on top of it because you I don't know where to put it. It's on my desk. I don't have a very big desk. So when I put it down, I'll have to move stuff around to actually be able to write on it and then I don't even know where to put it. So I used to put it on my wall, but I'm too blind to look at my wall now for an A3 page of paper. So this one's perfect because it goes on the fridge and it's got more on it as well. So it's got the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, as you normally do. It's got notes, which are very common on the thing, but it also has a space for shopping lists, checklists and this week's top priorities which is stunning and it also comes with an erasable whiteboard marker with the rubber on the top and this is so cute it's quite weighty but obviously the fridge will be able to handle that I hope so then moving on to mum and dad I was completely and utterly spoiled I was given this Michael Kors smartwatch I absolutely adore this I was actually looking I always wear Fitbit and I was looking to upgrade it and then this came, they gave me this which is just adorable, it's rose gold and silver which is really really pretty and matches all of my jewellery because I'll always stay within, well I normally wear silver, sometimes I'll wear gold, I've got a mixture on at the moment so I've got gold by here and then gold and silver in my hoop by here and silver and turquoise by here but I love rose gold, rose gold is one of my favourite colours and silver just ties everything in but it's just a nice combination as well and I haven't really taken it off since I've had it because I just adore it and so they got me that which I am so grateful for and it's so clever how it works because you feel like you're on Star Trek or something when you just talk to people in it and it's oh I love it I love it so mum and dad also got me this pillow which says love you which is just so cute and then it's got little buttons on the back which is just adorable and they also got me this towel I'll show you a picture somewhere on this screen they got me this towel which they customised and it's meant to be me they didn't have a ginger colour but they had a close enough hair colour for it to be me and it was just so cute so I can take it on holiday with me I am so excited to use it and it's just it's just me it's just me I love it so they've done it so it's got a whole so the bitmoji or the character is holding a cup of tea instead of alcohol because I am a teapot, I don't really drink alcohol that much, I just drink tea, alcohol doesn't really, woo alcohol, I'm like tea any day, tea and water, those are my go-tos, so, and it's just so cute and I adore it, it's just adorable, and they also got me some West Lab Soothing Dead Sea Bath Salt, which nourishes dry irritated skin, suitable for use on skin prone to eczema and psoriasis, which is perfect for my skin because I have eczema and there's other flavour, other flavours, other smells of these or other types of these, you can get them in home bargains, I know that, but they're really really good and I find that it's really refreshing and hydrating for your skin, I just love these. So mum and dad also got me this, it's already open because I have been packing all this week, I'll come to this at the end, I've been packing all this week, I am going to Rhodes tomorrow and I am so excited for it, I'm going on Saturday the 11th which for me is tomorrow and I'm so excited and so I had to use some of these to just have on my carry on in my suitcase and my toiletries, just all of them, I haven't used that many, some of them have just fallen out of the packet as well but it's these I Love Art, I don't even know what the brand is, Paloma Tissues but they're such pretty patterns and there was one that's a pink one, I adore it. They're just cute little things, cute little things just get to me, I love them. So mum and dad also got me this, it's called This Works 24 Hour Skin Solutions Choose Sleep, Too Many Sleep Solutions to Restore Your Get Up and Go and I always have, I got it from my auntie ages ago and it's empty which is really depressing is this sleep relaxing body mist from Fern Cotton's Happy Place and it smells really nice and I let my mum use it and she got me basically a little sleep spray pillow a sleep pillow spray and a stress check roll on which is basically you put it on your pressure points and it's supposed to help you de-stress I haven't opened it yet but I'm really excited to see how it works so then next my best friend came over 
with this big basket of stuff. I've literally taken half of the stuff out of this already and um, used it for holidays. So she's written me, where is it? It's 21 presents for your 21st. She's so creative, she's oh, amazing. I am so spoiled to have a best friend like her. So Kate did this 21 presents for your 21st and did some hints on all of them. So like one to eight a snack, some of your face and some new ones because we just eat a lot and we love snacks. So she got me like chocolate fingers, chocolate snowy fingers, Mary Latin cookies because they're amazing. M&M &M cookies, haven't tried them before but they're lush. Something I always get you for your birthday, so like lip balm, I always have a new lip balm and she got me this rosy Vaseline one, rosy lips. And then she got me a whole other bunch of stuff which I'm not going to go through everything because there's a lot here but she also got me like we were talking about it and she almost kept it for herself is this Laura Mercier bath wash or bath soap honey bath honey bath we have been talking about this for ages so she got me the almond coconut smell and after I film this I'm going to go have a bath and use this because I'm so excited and I've been really wanting to try it all week but I've been boiling and we've just seen it and it's how cute is it? It's just adorable. So she almost kept it for herself and I'm so lucky that she gave it back <laughs> or gave it to me because we have just been fangirling over it. It's just amazing. And then she just made me a few things as well. So she made me this shot glass that says Ellen 21 on it, which is adorable. She made me a mug as well, which has 21 on it. And so like this adventure book, it says Ellen's Adventures and so we can put all our adventures down. She's just adorable. She almost had my mum in tears as well. She's just so cute. And then for the last ones, which this is just showing how spoiled I am, is present 20 is London Winter Wonderland is books and pay for because we decided we we're gonna go up to London for Winter Wonderland this year. And then we were speaking about this for a while actually. It's the glamping pods that I've seen around. I know some of my friends have been to them. So she's bought a gift voucher so we can go and there's a bunch of different places but she's basically got me a gift voucher to go glamping and I am so excited so we've got a bunch of exciting stuff to look forward to so yeah she just got me this whole tub and it was just so sweet going through all of these and she even got me some stuff for holiday so like um SPF lip balm and the Euro adapter plugs just loads of thoughtful gifts and I am gonna struggle to top this so I have, I have until March to top this, so I'm gonna keep my thinking brain on now. So my colleague in work, Wendy, she got me this white company candle, and she's so sweet as well. So she got me this grapefruit, lemon and lime scented candle. It smells so fresh and so nice. It's very strong, but it's really just, it'll brighten. It'll brighten everything. It'll brighten your nostrils. It's, it's amazing. And she's so cute as well because she set up, so I was working, we work Monday to Saturday, and on the Saturday, it was obviously my birthday on Sunday, she set up like a brunch little thing for us in the canteen and put all banners up around the place. Oh, she was so adorable and I walked in and she even gave us like some little vodka shots and things. That, oh, she's just amazing. It was so cute. I was so flush and just, oh, thank you so much. And even some of the milkmen, they sang happy birthday to me, which I was so grateful for. So then I also got from some family friends, they gave me some euros to go on holiday with and there's 21 actual grown up little wine glass, which is so cute, I love it. And they also got me this Let the Adventure Begin passport cover and like the tags that go on your suitcase. And look how pretty it is, I am so obsessed, it's so cute. And then it has obviously ELZD on the bottom, which are my initials. I adore this, it's so, pretty so cute and it's just so thoughtful it's not something you would normally think of but oh, it's just so cute so my friend Alary who's currently in France because she's doing a year abroad she's in France and then Spain which I'm so jealous of sent me this cute she sent me a card and this cute little happy birthday which is so fluffy and soft I love it next I got this absolutely stunning birthday cake I'm gonna put a picture as massive as I can on this screen you will not believe how amazing this birthday cake was so my old neighbor Natalia she is a connoisseur she's amazing she is an artiste she is everything and she's very creative and makes birthday cakes and 
I always bag her every year for a birthday cake because they are just incredible. I had one for my 18th and I, well she made me like a Jaffa cake, a huge Jaffa cake birthday cake before. But I didn't really give her an idea of what I wanted this time and so she made this huge cake, incredible, like proper this big, this big, it was massive. And on the inside it was chocolate with whispers and M&Ms on the inside. Oh, she's just divine, so nice with meringue on the top, icing. Oh, I can't even, it was so, it's beautiful. And she also got me a little gift basket. So I got some M&Ms because you probably couldn't tell but I'm obsessed with M&Ms as well. She also got me this cute little it looks like a dish but I think it's just an ornament that says 21 with a little love heart and it's a love heart shape as well. And then finally she got me this necklace which is absolutely stunning. My friend Kate then actually got me a necklace which I'll show you as well now. And it's got a rose gold star and a silver star on it and it's just beautiful. Like how stunning is that? It's so pretty. Then that was the one from Natalia and then from Caitlin we had this love heart which is absolutely precious and it's got like a little diamante in the middle or diamond in the middle which is just stunning and it's so shiny and it's a love heart but it's like a celtic kind of love heart that it's got the crossover in the middle as well it's not just a simple outline it's got the outline and then like a twist in the middle with the diamond and then my mum's best friend my auntie katie who is like a godmother to us as well gave me this Pandora bracelet with a 21 charm on it and then the best friend love hearts in rose gold. It's so adorable. It's got the love heart on it. It's so adorable. I adore this. It's just perfectly goes with my bracelet, it, with my watch as well. It's as if they just planned it. Like who would have thought the best friends would have talked about gifts? They planned it. And then my auntie half gave me some Melanomania, Melamania, Melamania I think it is, headphones and they're the ear, in earbud ones because I've really wanted some for a while for going to the gym or going for a walk with the dog or anything. I get so fed up of the wires and that my headphone jack isn't the same as it used to be and things like that. And like with my iPad and my laptop, I can't use my headphones that I do have for those. So you have to wear AirPods and I don't have any AirPods. So she got me some headphones which are adore which are absolutely amazing. They're really good quality and they don't feel like they're gonna fall out, which was my big worry about in-ear headphones, wireless in-ear headphones, is that they're just gonna fall out, go missing and things like that. They are currently packed in my carry-on bag for tomorrow. And yeah, they are just amazing. And then my Uncle Garage came round the other day. His name's Gareth, but there's a whole story and we call him Uncle Garage and Maria. And they got me this Welsh Love Spoon. I'll show it in the case actually. Ooh, maybe I won't. <laughs> They got me this Welsh Love Spoon. It's the cutest thing ever. So it's got the Welsh dragon on the top and some Celtic symbols, a 21, a daffodil and a horseshoe because it's black. It's, it's adorable. I love it. It's such an amazing keepsake and it's just so pretty as well. I, ooh, doesn't want to stay in. It obviously wants to be on display. It's amazing. I couldn't ask for anything more than this. It's just so pretty so thoughtful and they also gave me some money towards a wetsuit because I've been paddleboarding a lot recently so they gave me some money towards a wetsuit because they weren't sure if I wanted long sleeve or short sleeve or anything so they got me some money towards that and I will definitely be buying a wetsuit <laughs> and then finally from my mum's brother and my auntie Anne I was given some euros again and then this 21 champagne flute with it's got a gold 21 down the middle then <laughs> they got me this super cute and super soft little dog and that's actually very coincidental because that wasn't on there that was on one of the gifts inside but it's just magically gone on the dog's head which is so cute <laughs> like how cute is that and he's just adorable I'm very tempted to take him on holiday with me just to snuggle up with because he's so soft they also got me two badges which I could only wear one because it was tiny and not put it through my Zara cohort because it was very thin and I don't want to ruin it and a massive one that we put on the table. So they also got me this little coaster which says happy 21st birthday, you are now this many days old, this many hours old, this many minutes old, seconds old, but who's counting? I feel old looking at these. It's a lot of seconds, a lot of days, a lot of hours, a lot of minutes. 
And then finally they got me this 21 mug which is hugs and I have, it's actually quite funny because for my 16th I, no for my 12th I had a 12 little diva or 13, 13 little diva mug, for my 18th I had a birthday mug and now for my 21st I had a birthday mug but when I was on my birthday in the morning Obviously I didn't have a 21st birthday mug so I was drinking out of my 18th one and some thought it would be really funny to make me a mug of tea in my 18th one. So yeah, Dad saw it in the morning he was like, you shouldn't be drinking out of that because it says 18 and you're not 18 anymore. Anyway, when we got to our meal I saw this and I thought it would be perfect and obviously they planned it because they got me my 18th one as well. So this is an upgrade and Mum wants to check out the 18th one but we might keep it and keep the 21st. Oh that's so cute and it's purple as well with a little... It's just adorable. And I was just completely spoiled this birthday. It was such a nice birthday. And I feel with, with COVID, you don't really look forward to a lot because there's not a lot to look forward to. And because I was working all week and thinking about holidays, I wasn't really thinking about my birthday as much. But it was just so nice and so relaxing and so just perfect. I couldn't wish for anything more than that. It was just a perfect day, a perfect time. Just a perfect birthday. I loved it, and I was literally saying to Mo how grateful I was and how lovely the day was. And literally, anyone who's wished me a happy birthday, I've said how spoilt I was. It was such an amazing day. I don't know if I can get this across to you as much as I want to, but it was such an amazing day. But yeah, that was everything that I got for my birthday. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you've had a lovely week. I am just gonna say now there isn't gonna be a video next week because I am currently away. I've had such a hectic week or oh, a couple of weeks actually because I've been working every day and if I wasn't working I was having my birthday on Sunday and then I've been literally working all day this all week every day this week and I'm going on holiday tomorrow so I haven't had time to do another video but yeah I won't be here next week but I will definitely be here the week after and if you follow me on Instagram at Ellen Jones I will be trying to post as much as I can just to keep you along with me on my Rhodes holiday. So yeah, I'll see you in about two weeks time. I hope you all have a lovely week. I hope you all have a lovely time. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.